Well, hello! So, a few days ago, I was talking about some Metal Zone mods. I feel much better, by the way. Thanks for asking. I was doing some Metal Zone mods. I kind of went through the general circuit real quick. Two different mods I want to show you. The first one is going to be how to turn it into an overdrive, which I discussed a few days ago. But now I have, like, a sound clip. You can kind of hear what's going on. It's not an awesome overdrive, but it is kind of a decent overdrive. And it's something you definitely take to, uh, you know, your blues gig or something like that. Let's try that real quick, and I'm also going to do one other mod as well. And that second mod is how to basically take the metal zone and turn it into an EQ pedal. That is a usable thing, I think. So let's do that as well, and let's jump right in right now. I will play the stock metal zone in comparison to the metal zone that's modded as an overdrive right now. So let's do that. Fender Stratocaster, Fender Deluxe Reverb, Metal Zone that's modified as an overdrive, Stock Metal Zone. So Stock Metal Zone on the left. I'll run everything fairly flat at first, just to kind of give you a feel for it. Get my levels correct. Clean tone. Now let's go to the Stock Metal Zone. Like I said, that's with basically everything neutral, bass and treble at noon, EQs at noon, distortion all the way up. Let's do the same thing with the overdrive. Again, stock. Modded. So we turn the gain down a little bit, increase the treble just a smidge. And I'm gonna roll just a little bit of mids out of it. some gain out, add a little bottom end, put a little more treble in it. pretty clean too. So it does clean up, which is also why we can turn it into an EQ pedal pretty easily. So I actually did get the pedal modified to create a pretty decent equalizer. It makes the metal zone more functional, let's say. Let's check it out. So my clean tone, once again. The stock metal zone. Let's make the metal zone an equalizer. To do this mod, make sure you have the gain all the way down. You can bump it up just a smidge if you need a little bit of volume. For the most part, you really want the gain all the way down. It kind of acts as a buffer of sorts. It just signal passes through without getting color too much. And so really your volume control is going to be up pretty high almost all the way. Not quite all the way, but almost. And then I have the EQ set flat, so clean. we still have all the control over all the different parameters, right? So we have, you know, lows and highs, and we have a parametric EQ of a source around the mid, so. By the way, I'm using a diddle looper just to kind of show you. I'm going to get down here on the floor and show you a little more.
basically it just functions as an EQ pedal now. So now it's usable. And now it's something that you could take to a gig if you're like, dude, you're using a metal zone. You kick it on and they're like, wow, your tone's amazing. Little do you know that you're not even using it for that. It's, it's an EQ. Now that we've been through that, I've showed you the sound samples. Let me show you exactly what's going on real quick with the mod. Okay, so for the overdrive mod, um, kind of the same thing. Really what I'm doing is I'm taking out all of the EQ stuff, really for the most part. I'm getting rid of some of the stuff here, the diodes here, and I'm putting diodes right here instead, which is generally what you'd have with an overdrive. And just watch the last video, I explained it in more depth there. I showed you how to do that as well in that last video. So the exact modification kind of goes like this. Really what I'm doing, I'm going to remove this transistor Q10, I'm going to remove 47k. I'm going to remove this whole first EQ stage. This EQ stage is bumping up about 1k, so we're just going to make it flat. So we're going to remove Q10, the transistor. We're going to remove the resistor, R53. We're going to remove C35 as well. Don't replace it with anything. Leave the holes just as is. Uh, C34, let's make that 0.22. For R44, see that 220k resistor? we're actually gonna just put a 1K in there. And that kind of makes it more like a buffer, more of a unity gain stage. And then we're going to remove R42, remove it completely because this 10K and this 10K actually kill some voltage. It forms a voltage divider and gets rid of some signal. So now we don't need to, because this was a gain stage before. It was adding some gain, adding some volume and EQ. So we're getting rid of R42, leave the holes, get rid of C31, leave the holes, don't replace it with anything, and then we're going to put the diodes on here like I showed you in the video the other day. And you can do that symmetrical or asymmetrical, meaning you can use three diodes or two diodes. Do a quick Google search if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, it's pretty common practice, you know, one diode goes that way, one diode goes this way. So... Yeah, that's, that's symmetrical. With asymmetrical, you have two diodes in a line going that way. And then they're both tied here and on that side too. That probably doesn't explain it, but you should know what I'm talking about if you have a soldering iron and you're attempting to do these mods. And then let's move on to the next stage. So we have Q8. It's boosting four and a half hertz or so. So uh, we're going to get rid of Q8. We're going to get rid of R36. We're going to get rid of C25. Take them out. Totally leave the holes. Don't put anything in there. Also D3 and D4. Get rid of. Take them out. Leave the holes. Those are clipping to ground. So you don't need that. On this stage here, this is boosting bass about 100 hertz. So after all these mods, if you need a little bit more bass, keep that just as it is. If you don't really need the bass, then you can always take it out of there. On the one that I did, I took it out of there. C24, we're going to make that a 0.1 microfarad, 0.1 UF. C20, we're going to take that out completely, unless you need more bass. If you need more bass, keep it in. But I took it out. That basically totally gets rid of this bass stage here, of the bass boosting stage, not to be confused with the EQ part. Now, here's kind of a cool part. Right here in the circuit, the signal goes through a 10K, um, and then there's like this little filter here. It goes through a 4.7 connected to a 0.015 microfarad to ground, 4.7K. Here's what I did. It was a little bright as it was, so I wanted to get rid of some more highs. In place of R31, I actually just put a wire, just a jumper wire. And then in place of C23, I put a 0.01 microfarad. Now, if you want it brighter, use a smaller cap. If you want it darker, use a little bit bigger cap, maybe even up to 0.022, though I suspect that may be too much. And that's the modification. If you need a little bit more volume by chance, you're probably not going to, but if you do, you could always just take R26, just increase it a little bit. I played around with it, went up to 100K, and had plenty of volume, started clipping the stage around that though, and I didn't want the additional op amp clipping right there, so I just took it out. This actually, as I said last time, it's basically just an inverting buffer. It inverts the sig inverts the phase of the signal, and uh, it's just a buffer. It's not really necessary, actually. That was the overdrive mod. Let's talk about the conversion to an equalizer, or an EQ. It's kind of the same thing. We're gonna get rid of this stage, this stage, and this stage, get rid of the clipping, Get rid of the stuff killing the signal. Get rid of the filtering. We're gonna jump her from this spot all the way over to this spot with a wire, really. So what we're gonna do 
it's going to get rid of C35, R53, and Q10. Again, leave the holes, don't fill them in with anything. C34, make it a 0.22. R44, make that a 1K. Remove R42 and C31, get rid of them totally, you don't need them. Uh, don't fill in the holes with anything. C33, put in a one microfarad cap. I like to use film caps, I think they sound a little bit better in, this, in that situation. Also on C29, go ahead and put a one microfarad in there as well. Now of course we're getting rid of D3 and D4, just remove them out, don't put anything in its place. R31, just remove it from the circuit, leave the holes, don't fill it in with a jumper wire or anything. It takes out, uh, it just takes out that filter. Same thing with these stages, let's get rid of C25, R36, and Q8. Also on C24, let's go ahead and put a .22 in that. On this stage here, we're just gonna take out C20, which basically just cuts off this gyrator from the rest of the circuit. What we're going to do here may not be too awful necessary because we are literally cutting this stage out of the circuit. Those changes I just mentioned about changing this stuff is because if there's some stray noise or anything weird going on in the PCB, I didn't lay it out, I don't know. So I'm just gonna like basically take the gain out. Uh, another thing I could really probably do is probably just jumper R30. I didn't try it, but in theory it should work just fine. What I'm going to do though is on R33, here's how we, here's how we turn into an EQ after the previous stuff I mentioned. On R33, we're gonna lift this end here and we're going to take out R14. Totally take it out. And we're going to connect a wire from this point of R22 and we're going to fill it in the hole of this right here of R14 on that hole. That's just a big long wire that basically bypasses this entire stage. Stages I should say. Bypasses 4A as well. And keep in mind that this still is a distortion stage. So as you turn this distortion pot up, it's going to get some uh, serious op amp clipping. So keep that down pretty much all the way, maybe bump it up a little bit if you need more volume. Now let's look at the circuit board. Okay, so here's R33 right here. I'm going to lift this side of the resistor. It's actually attached to those diodes there through this pad. So I'm going to lift that leg of the resistor up and that's what I'm going to hook one end of a wire to. So the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove R14 completely. I have my wire on R33 and I'm simply going to run it into this hole right there. That side of the resistor hole. And that's going to jump all those circuits. And it's really all you got to do. So there's all different kinds of mods you can do to pedals. You don't have to just do the simple modifications that you see online. If you uh, learn a little bit about circuitry, there's a million different things you can do. You, like, I, like I showed you, you could turn a metal zone into an EQ pedal or an overdrive. And you could turn an overdrive into a metal zone. Well, not a metal zone, but a, a high gain distortion. Keep checking this stuff out. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. And we'll see you here in a few days. See you guys later.